Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast, bringing you five minutes of smiles across the miles, greetings and some advice about your English. Today the question is, is American English and British English the same? Well, the answer to that is no, it's not. On the surface, it looks like it is the same. After all, we use the same words, we use the same alphabet, but the way in which we use English to give meaning is very different. When you begin to learn English, you won't see it. It will look the same for you. But as you look a little bit further down inside the language, you will see that it's very different. Let me give you a couple of examples. The main one I can think of is the last American president. He used to talk about the vets. Are oh, the vets, you know, they're great people. I love the vets. The vets are fantastic. Oh, the vets did so much for us. And I was thinking, the vets? What, the president loves animal doctors? Really? Why is he celebrating vets? And then I quickly discovered that he's referring to veterans, war veterans, whereas here, vets are, of course, animal doctors. That's just one small example, but it can cause great confusion. If you watch American media, and Britain is dominated by American media, we get all these kinds of references, and it takes a little bit of time to work out what is being said, especially when there's brands or companies involved which don't cross over between the two countries. Then there's idioms, and they always cause us problems. The one I usually give examples about is going south. In American English, going south is going bankrupt, but in British English, it doesn't exist. Uh, there's also um, backing up. To back up is what I do with my computer every night. I back it up. But in American English, to back up is to reverse. For example, can you back up your car for a moment? Now, because American media dominates us, more and more of these things are coming in. So probably younger people would be much more comfortable uh, and would know a lot more American idioms than I do. I'm just using these as examples. Americans don't use the present perfect tense, which is quite brutal. It means that they don't use indirect communication. In Britain, everything is always about, I would like, or would you mind closing the window for me? Thank you. Whereas in America, it's just, close the window, please. Yeah, thanks. Or close the window. Could you? Thanks. Uh, we're very into a politeness in indirect communication. The same with the present perfect. Uh, if I, for example, tell you that someone has died, I'm giving great respect to the fact that the action of dying has happened. Whereas in American English, you would simply hear the past tense, oh, John, oh, he died. And as I've discussed before with you guys, it's all about the... Um, the present perfect is always all about the action, not the time. Well, I promised you this podcast would be no longer than uh, five minutes, so I'm rapidly approaching the five-minute mark. Thank you for being with me. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll be back again soon. See you. Bye.